So we're doing this episode backwards too, then, huh? Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we, should, we, we should just should play start the with game. the game. Uh, that's Maybe not the dumbest idea ever. We should do it. We should start with the game and work our way back. A great big thank you to our staff graphic artist, Tabby Walters, the weekly cast, and our listeners. You can listen to our podcast on iTunes, the Stitcher app, through YouTube, or directly on our website. Feel free to send us a movie review suggestion. Every third episode is listener appreciation where we choose from your suggestions. You can reach us through social media, either by liking our Facebook page, John Hates Movies YouTube channel, or following our Twitter at John Hates Movies. Our music was composed by Kevin McLeod. You can find this track and many more on his website site in Competech.com. Thanks for listening, and tune in next week to hear someone say, and we're back! <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time for the game! Woo! Yay! <laughs> That's right! And in keeping with the theme of the movie that we watch, Shimmer Lake, everything that you folks are hearing is backwards. Yes. So we're starting at the end, and we're going to be revealing... The special mystery at the beginning. Yeah. Here's to my sweet segment. (laughs) (laughs) Back-to-back state champs. That's right. (laughs) So, as is John Hates Movies tradition, the person who picked the movie also gets to run the game, and that is me! Woo-woo! So, as this movie is backwards, and the show is backwards, uh-huh. the game is also backwards. What? So That's who, won, right. who won the game? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody yet. Oh, okay. Because it hasn't been played. I mean, the actual playing of the game is going to be backwards. That's right. Oh, okay. So, it's going to be like the movie. So, like, this this is like the beginning of, of Friday. And then, once we start the start reviewing the movie, that's like the beginning of Thursday? Exactly. Sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Yes. <laughs> much, more, much more thought out than uh, than I intended. But okay. Uh, so with the game, it is going to be a very simple game. I am going to provide you with a series of answers for oh. trivia, and you are going to provide me with a series of questions. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. They're all uh, they are all following a central theme. The central theme is movie trivia. Uh Uh, And you get a point for either an appropriate question or a really funny question. (laughs) Well, I wonder which one James is going to go for. (laughs) (laughs) My guess is probably neither. (laughs) (laughs) Well, this game is backwards, so finally, you know, backwards game. Finally, my prejudice is going to be a benefit. (laughs) <laughs> no, yeah, it's any- not reversed, James. It's backwards. Uh, yep, sorry. Is anybody on this podcast dyslexic? Oh, no. We're going to be fucking with our dyslexic listeners, though. <laughs> Dude, Lysdexia is a terrazizable. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So the computer is randomizing the, the, uh, the numbers here real quick. <laughs> and it looks like James goes first. <laughs> Boom. Yay! Yep. Wow, All it surely right. is backwards. <laughs> All right, so, movie trivia. Keep that in mind. That is the theme. James, your answer is Martin Brody. Who is Adrian Brody's secret twin? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> and, um, you know what? I got a small chuckle out of that, but I'm looking for belly laughs on this one. You, there's, yeah. there's too much to work with. So, James, you do not get a point. Uh, Martin Brody, the question is, uh, in the uh, film Jaws, what was the name of the police chief? Yep. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Mm. All right. Brody. That's yeah. right. So. Uh, i the... see that movie once. Yes. <laughs> You've never seen Jaws? <laughs> yeah, it's just like when you tell people you haven't seen Star Wars. Okay. <laughs> All right, um, I'm 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 trying to find easy ones. Uh, so, uh, Chris. Yes, sir. Uh, Bride of Frankenstein. Who did Frankenstein's monster marry? Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right, Chris, I'll give it to you. It's appropriate. For those of you who were qu- uh, who were uh, curious as to what the actual question is, is who was the first female monster to appear in a movie? Oh. Uh, oh. All right. Nice. Eric. Yes. Silver. Uh, yeah. Uh, what is the uh, metal that the Jamaican bobsled team uh, 
won as worst uh, Olympic participant in is, Cool Runnings. <laughs> is that right? Is that a thing? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> uh, if, if that was the case, they, they they came in second for being the shittiest. Right. <laughs> so somebody else just penguin slid down the fucking loop. <laughs> Uh, Another yeah, thing just fell out of the sled like popcorn. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not gonna give that to you. Okay. The, uh, the question was, what color were the uh, what color were the slippers originally in the Wizard of Oz? Ah, okay, mm-hmm. okay. James, it's your time again. Mm. So we're gonna get a little bit harder here. The answer is stuffing birds. <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> this could take on mul- multiple meanings if you're using the British vernacular <laughs> <laughs> I know I thought he got a look at my day planner <laughs> <laughs> or the French vernacular what is how do you make foie gras <laughs> God damn it! That's why I, I was trying to I was trying to hint that one to you, but you didn't take it. So I no, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> Shit, motherfucker! No, you got me thinking about the Ortolan. Um, what about Turducken? Yeah, and I was thinking about that too. Well, yeah. I'll, what is a Turducken? Stuffing birds. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, James. That's not. That's damn it! Not quite right. <laughs> All right. Uh, the actual question was, what was Norman Bates' hobby in Psycho? Oh. Ah. Mm. All right. Uh, Chris. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Silence of the Lambs. What comes after all the lambs go to sleep? <laughs> oh, Chris gets another point. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> the actual question is, what film was the last sequel to win a Best Picture award? Oh. Yeah. That was a sequel? Yep. Yeah, yeah. To Red Dragon. This is, yep, yeah, actually. Red yeah. Dragon was... Uh, they remade Red Dragon, right? Yeah, they yeah. remade yeah. it, but... Wow. Yeah. Okay. But there was an original Red Dragon. Wow. Mm-hmm. All Brian right. Cox. Eric. Mm-hmm. Yes. Have fun with this one. Okay. Woody Allen. Keep it respectful. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck that. Or no. No, no, no questions there, then. <laughs> I can't think of any good jokes, so I just uh, I'm just gonna say I don't have I don't have any jokes that aren't like a weird sex move uh, involving your uncle Alan. Uh, that's not, <laughs> that's <laughs> that's not my answer. Uh, my my answer is who is the director of <laughs> of Annie Hall? You are right. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the slimiest, greasiest motherfucker who should probably be in jail but isn't. <laughs> Yep, so the actual question is which uh, which screenwriter has received the most Oscar nominations, and that is uh, Woody Allen. But yes, he is also the director of Annie Hall, so that that, uh, that works. Okay. All right, back to the top with James. I needed to try to keep up with Chris, so I couldn't make any dirty jokes. <laughs> I, I'm lost already. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Marlon Brando and George C. Scott. Name two people that secretly fucked Marilyn Monroe. James, are, are you even people. trying? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> At this point, no. Godfather 2? Who was in Godfather 2? <laughs> I haven't seen Godfather 2. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> All right. Uh, the, the question to that one is, uh, oh, which two actors refuse their Oscars? Ooh, oh, wow. yeah. Nice. I think they're the only ones who's ever done it, too, so uh, pretty interesting. I'm pretty sure if you check InfoWars, I was right on that Marilyn Monroe thing. (laughs) Really? (laughs) Man, the evidence is out there, man. You just got to look. Wake up, sheeple. Okay, Chris, (laughs) this one's going to be hard. But I have a feeling you might be able to pull it off. Silence of the sheeple. (laughs) (laughs) Police getting beaten. Jesus. Oh, my dreams every night. (laughs) (laughs) What are my dreams every night? I feel like it's what what is a side effect of almost every 90s action or comedy? (laughs) That's appropriate. (laughs) (laughs) 
All right, Chris, I'm going to give it to you. Actually, this one's pretty interesting. Uh, the the uh, question is, in South Dakota, what is it illegal to show in movies? Oh, really? Yep. Do they have to, like, recut movies for South Dakota? I guess they would have to. Wow. Yeah. Or they just can't get shown. Yeah. Huh. Oh, okay. This next one's a little bit of a softball. Should I give it to Eric anyway? Yes. Yep. All right. Yeah, sure. Get these guys the easy ones. George Lazenby. Oh, Jesus. Come on. <laughs> uh, who's the only uh, James Bond to uh, to uh, only do one James Bond movie? You are right, sir. Is that Was that the actual question? Uh, actually, uh, no, um, the actual the... question was... Um, who played James Bond in Her Majesty's Sir, uh, Secret Service? Okay. But yeah. who who was the actor who only played James Bond in one film? Is yeah, that also actor. Yep. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Okay, one more round. Okay, all right. Chris, Chris has to get this one wrong. No softballs he does to Chris. Have to get, no softballs to Chris. Mm. <laughs> I've, I've right. lost already. <laughs> all right, you ready, James? Yep. Okay. Well, this is kind of a softball, or at least it should. Except he hasn't watched the movies. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, I'm a man. All right, I can handle it. John Wayne. What is the opposite of John Dwight? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No points for James. James ends this game with absolutely zero points. Wow. <laughs> like have you ever have you ever thrown a paper airplane and have it go zero inches? Yes. <laughs> or as soon as it leaves your fingers, it just goes nose down into it. Like, right? Not not like you know loops down like lands on its its top. It just goes like, straight nose to the down, ground. just like crumples, <laughs> and then somehow it bursts into fire. Folds itself. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah it, it returns. Yeah, to a sheet of paper. <laughs> Jesus. All right. <laughs> I love you, James. <laughs> All right. So, um, since I'm going to get a little rough here, uh, Chris, you've got yeah. the, the super hard one. Aldebaran, Antares, Ater, and Rigel. Say him again. Sure. Uh, Aldebaran, <laughs> Antares, Ater, and Rigel. What are planets that may have possibly been in films? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. I'm going uh, to... Are they all like, planets? Uh, yes. Yes, they are. Why not? I think um, they're stars, right? You know what? If they're not planets, I'm going to start naming planets. <laughs> I'm going to whip out my, my you know, my, my, my <laughs> megascope and... Uh, megascope? Yeah. Yep. Nope. <laughs> I think Antares is. Yeah, I think uh, you're right, Eric. They're stars. Uh, those were actually the uh, the um, in the movie Ben Hur. Uh, what were the name of his horses on his chariot? Uh, oh wow! Oh yeah. Nice. Like yeah. I said, it was a hard one. I haven't seen that one. Ben, no. ben Hur. Yeah. I haven't yeah. seen that either. <laughs> All right, Eric. This is yeah. for the tie. All right. Let's see. All right. Midnight Cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man! I can't. I what like comes a, after eleven o'clock. No, li- <laughs> literally, the first thing that jumped into my head wouldn't have gotten me points because it was what John's mom calls me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, terrible, terrible! I should dock your points for that. But I can't. <laughs> Uh, that's, yep, that's, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm not going to. Chris wins again. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't my answer. That wasn't yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, like, like it, it was the, like, uh, <laughs> it was just in my head that I couldn't, like, there, once it's there, there wasn't really any thinking There's of anything else. <laughs> no way you could stop yourself. Yeah. All right. So, uh, for just a bit, little bit of a recap as to that last question, it's uh, which X rated movie won an Oscar? Oh, that was rated yeah. X. Well, yep. it was back when the, the ratings yeah. go was totally different, and X really meant R. Yeah. 
Or anything R and above, really, was the equivalent of what it was. It's an interesting movie. Um, so that makes it, it means, Chris, that you've won the game. So uh, what is it? What is it? Uh, we're going to train Eric out of the year mom jokes if it kills me. Uh, Eric, or and Eric. Chris, what are we watching next week? Um, we are watching Spawn. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I've never uh, seen that. I've I never seen this. The 90s it's live good. action Spawn that, uh, yeah, you'll have opinions. Oh, yeah. Oh, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first. Uh, Next week, uh, when we return, we are going to be watching Spawn. Yeah. John Leguizamo plays a dwarf clown. Ah, that's high quality right there. So, James, uh, if you want to make it to where we've got to be, you should start swimming upriver now. (laughs) (laughs) And and John Dwy was a bad joke. Come on. Good night, everybody. (laughs) Tally ho, John Hates Movies listeners. It's Eric Largent with a quick reminder of how you can find us. The best way to stay appraised of all of our activity is to follow us on Facebook at John Hates Movies. Uh, There we'll post all of our new episodes as well as whatever we're feeling uh, interested in at the moment. Please subscribe to us on your favorite podcast service like iTunes, Stitcher, or Podcast and Radio Addict. If you subscribe to us on iTunes, please leave us a comment. We read every single one and uh, they're much appreciated. You can also follow us on Twitter at John Hates Movies or follow me on Twitter at Eric Largent. Now, stay tuned for the game uh, and find out what movie we get to watch next week. And uh, if you're feeling adventurous, watch along with us and leave us a comment on Facebook uh, telling us what you thought of the movie. Thank you for listening and stay tuned for the game. Hello, everyone, and welcome to John Hates Movies, the movie review podcast where my friends prevent me from recording this episode in reverse to hide a very weak plot and instead <laughs> force me to watch movies. Do we? This week, do we really? <laughs> this week, we have with us James Barrow. Get in the back, you fat bastard. <laughs> we have Chris Arsenault. You suck. Did I steal your joke? Yeah, because and it's getting the back, you fat fucking bastard. Okay, <laughs> and Eric Larden. Tally ho. And I am your host, Jonathan Barrup, and uh, as you can tell, we are doing something a little bit different. We are doing this whole thing in reverse, just like the movie we watched <laughs> this week, which was Shimmer Lay. Ooh. A bank heist gone wrong, small town secrets, and a trail of murders. The shocking truth can only be revealed in reverse. Uh, Wait, it actually okay. says that in the fucking description? Yes, it says that in the Christ. fucking description. <laughs> uh, directed by Oren Uziel. Mm-hmm. Um, or you're and... unusual. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and starring Benjamin Walker, Rain Wilson, and Rob Cordry. Mm-hmm. Cordry, why not? Yep, sure, Cordry. Okay, well, as is John hates movies tradition, the person who uh, picked the movie gets to go last, <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. and that would be me. So, who wants to go ahead and jump in first? Who wants to start us off. Okay, well, you know what? I can I can start us off because I'll have. I, I I can already see where the tone is going here, so I'll start off with some uh, with some counterpoints for you guys. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> countering our points before we get to our points. Very appropriate. Right. So James, you're wrong because because <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. See, I could have went with that one. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I watched this movie last night. I, you know, I feel like the movie did. A pretty decent job of having its of you know having its plot you know reveal ultimately doing it backwards and the last you know the last scene of it there's the twist where I, that honestly I wasn't expecting listeners if you haven't watched this movie we're gonna spoil it for you uh, oh, yes I did not see it looking back at it were you asleep no I, I well yeah no I didn't <laughs> see it coming that the cop was ultimately gonna be the bad guy but. Or not the bad guy, but like the guy that kind of set this whole thing up mm-hmm. and like put put all of this mm-hmm. into motion. But uh, seeing it from that perspective after the end, it's like it. I don't know. Obviously, seeing the end, it makes the whole thing make a little bit more sense. <clears throat> right. Like how when the the FBI guys show up and he's like, "Look, 
we know who did this. We thank you for your help, but you know, there's nothing really to look into here. And like the whole time when, when he's like, they're foreshadowing him getting shot in the arm the whole time. Right. And, and he's like, you know, it actually hurts more now than it did when it, when I got shot. <laughs> right. Like, right. Like that was, that was kind of, that was kind of funny. Uh, I had to actually go back and rewatch it because when Rain Wilson gets shot at the end of the first day, uh, and you see the back to back champs mm-hmm. on the guy's arm, and then they show you the guy, the guy with the tattoo that says back to back champs later in the movie, you're like, Oh, that's the guy that shoots Rain Wilson. But he didn't. He dies. It's like, oh shit! What? Like that's the first point. Like when that guy dies right. in the bank heist, you're like, oh, something else is going on right. here. And mm-hmm. I don't know. I like. I was so I went into this movie with no expectations, and I was honestly pleasantly surprised. I, I thought this movie was decent. Now, looking at this movie after I saw it, it reminds me a lot of. Not the plot, but it remi- like the execution reminds me a lot of Clerks in that the movie wasn't necessarily telling a revolutionary story. It didn't really have a whole lot to say. It was just using an interesting device to get you to the point at the end of the movie. Just like Clerks, <clears throat> uh, like, you know, it was using the title cards uh, and and kind of having that like early 90s like talk talk house dialogue as I can see yeah being a thing another mm-hmm. thing that it reminded me of clerks is there are certain points where and i'm not going to say that the writing in this movie was great because i don't think it really was but there were parts of this movie where they didn't get actors that could even handle the bad <laughs> writing mm-hmm. so there's a scene in this movie between the guy that has the back-to-back champs tattoo and the mexican girlfriend and they're like trying to deliver dialogue to each other and it's supposed to be like really intense and they're talking about how their daughter died and, and in the in the meth Son. explosion so Son. Ed yes Jr. ed junior yeah sorry Man. yeah good point maybe ed junior is sure for ed no yeah <laughs> no. it was it was daughter yeah. or it was son, son sorry yeah, geez <laughs> it was son uh but so they're trying to deliver that dialogue and make it sound like really tense yeah, but that was like the worst acted scene I've seen in a very long time. Like neither of those mm-hmm. people were like high school actor good. Mm. Like they were, <laughs> like they were just bad. Like those, those were two very, very bad actors that were in this movie, and they were trying to deliver like the, like you could even see them trying to put it on like. Like they scrunch their faces up and they like raise their voices mm-hmm. and they got like in each other's faces, mm-hmm. but like they're still like you can see it in their eyes. They're still trying to like remember their lines and like <laughs> make it to their cues at the right time right. and like all this stuff. Like it was that was that was some terrible acting. Uh, yes. So, but but the cop, I actually liked the cop in this movie. I thought he did a decent job playing it, like just playing it super. And I guess he had to to make his character believable at the end when he ultimately mm-hmm. is the guy that masterminded the whole thing but like you know playing it super cool the whole time and uh, yeah i liked i liked him i thought rain wilson was pretty good it was interesting to see rain wilson dropping f-bombs because <laughs> really the only thing any of us have seen rain wilson is the office I mean, I don't know. Yep. He hasn't done that much more. Like, he's done some things, but... Yeah. Some indie movies, yeah. basically. Yeah. Yeah. And he did, like, a movie where he was a drummer, and he did a movie where he's, like, a shitty superhero. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I saw that one, yeah. Okay, yeah. So he was he was fun. <clears throat> I like the really dumb guy. I thought that was funny. Like, are you guys making fun of me? <laughs> like, yeah. I, because I can't tell because I'm stupid. <laughs> you know I'm stupid. <laughs> I wonder what happened to him to make him stupid. Oh no! Know. They they said uh, the was, uh, he, too much math. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Okay. He, yeah. he fried yeah. his own brain. Yeah. Okay, I didn't catch that. On the John hates movies patented <laughs> Sandlot, uh, <laughs> Mighty Ducks, and <laughs> Shawshank Redemption scale. This is somewhere between Mighty Ducks and Sandlot, <laughs> as in it's better than Mighty Ducks. <laughs> it's worse than Sandlot, but. Should it even be on those scales? I don't know. <laughs> this is like this is like a two and a half on the Shawshank scale. Yeah, which yeah. it being a two and a half out of five on the Shawshank scale makes it like watchable. Yep. Ultimately, kind of enjoyable while you're watching mm-hmm. it, but it's not. This isn't like this isn't impressive 
And it's not going to be like – this isn't going to be a cult movie that people remember in a bunch no. of years. No. But no. if – but – so this was a first time ever product from the director who also wrote the movie. Hmm. And like Netflix just released it. And that being the case, you know, I, there's potential for this guy to do better. Yeah. Like there was potential for Kevin Smith to do better in Clerks, which he maybe did, maybe didn't do. I don't know. For, but, a, little, for a little while there. Yeah. Yeah. But but for a first swing, you know, he hit a single yeah. up the middle. Grounder. The, uh, the, the infielders didn't get it. You know, he's on base. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, I didn't, I didn't hate the movie. I thought it was fine. Like, it, and it was, it was a totally enjoyable watch at the end of a long day. Like, this is, this is a movie that you can watch and enjoy. That's, mm-hmm. that's what I, that's what I took away yeah. from it. Like, there's some really bad acting, but you can, you can get around that. <laughs> the worst you've seen in it's a not while. He's <laughs> disruptive. Yes. No. Yeah. Yeah. The worst acting I've seen in a while is thinking to myself, man, somebody has not seen Will I Am in the Wolverine or Wolverine uh, Origins. I have not X-Men. seen. I didn't see either the first uh, X Men movie or Wolverine <laughs> movies. <laughs> Kill yeah. our own people. All right, yeah. we, that's a good one. So who's All next? Right. Yeah, I'll go next. So, um, I think Eric might have read read the room wrong. Oh, so cause, I don't know. Uh, it sounds like Johnny and Chris didn't like it. Yeah, so uh, mm. let's go first with the uh, correct people. And oh, the, hey, uh, there we go. The bad guys can sew us up. Right. At the end. <laughs> <laughs> I do not want to be buried in a car, guys. <laughs> Please. Yeah, especially that car. What was that? It was a Camaro. It was a Camaro. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was a bitch in Camaro. Oh yeah, he fucking said it. Everybody knows that I've got a bitch in Camaro. Camaro. Just bitch in like, Camaro. Bitch, bitch in Camaro. <laughs> <laughs> no man, you should ask me what kind of car I saw at the at the beach. It was, was a, a bitch in Camaro. Camaro. <laughs> I love that song. <laughs> nothing says peaked in high school like a Camaro. <laughs> well, to be fair, nothing says. Uh, Peaked in high school like a Z-Rock. But <laughs> nothing says peaked in high school like matching back to back state champs tattoos. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Like, these guys obviously peaked in high school. That's well, what this movie's about, is people that peaked in high school and didn't have anything else to do. True. Yep. But I, I, I really oh. have to cover something. It, it's IROC or C twenty eight. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> really, they are like the trailer trash of sports cars. You gotta say something. Nods don't come across on pods. Guido seemed to like them too. <laughs> oh no. Ah, oh, no. uh, James, your review. No, oh, let's talk more about racism. All right, so <laughs> okay. So yeah, I think uh, that this movie is uh, is solid. I I went into it expecting it to be trash, like. Um, as we've uh, covered before when we did our spectral thing, sometimes Netflix will pick up movies that the uh, the studios don't touch because they don't think they'll make money on it. Yeah. Um, there's, it's, it's stuff that's instead of direct to video, it just yeah, gets a Netflix. Yeah, it, but but ne- it's like a Netflix branded thing. Right. Because right. Like, there are plenty of direct to video yeah, yeah, yeah. things that are on Netflix, but yeah. these are, they have the Netflix. Well, yeah, because essentially they become the, the, well, not the production house, but the, the, the distributor. Label. Yeah, the yeah. distributor. Yep. There you go. Yep. So I was kind of expecting more of that. Um, you know, an original property didn't really have anything to kind of sell it with. So I was like, all right, so I guess we'll watch this. And if it's shit, then whatever. Um, <laughs> but I was uh, pleasantly surprised. Uh, it's, it's solid. And as I was watching it about like halfway through, I was thinking to myself, okay, so this is decent. It's got some good lines in it. You know, it's, it's made me chuckle a couple times. There's interesting characters and stuff. Um, I'm following where it's going, but the uh, the telling it backwards just seems like a complete gimmick to kind of separate it from other stuff. And then it got to the end, and even though it was an obvious choice for a twist, mm-hmm. I didn't see it coming. I didn't either. Yeah, I, that's so weird to me. I didn't. I didn't see it coming. I really wasn't expecting a twist. John, did you no. see that twist coming? Yeah, that twist coming that particular twist yes wow i didn't what a twist <laughs> so like i mean it came together for me um uh yeah like when did you figure it out 
Um, when they were in the cop car telling stories about being on the football team together. Ah. So, oh yeah, I, I, I liked, so at the very yeah. beginning of the movie, like the first scene is the guy coming out to the cop car and there's somebody sitting in the yep. passenger seat yeah, and he he's freaks really out about pissed it. Off, yeah. And you're like, what that was that was that was the best thing in that whole movie. Like, yeah, explaining the Watching mystery of why he's pissed off about a little it. more okay with it each time. Right? <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh yeah, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. I'll get him back. Never been back here before. <laughs> it smells. You guys smell it? I don't think the canine unit cleaned it out. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Yeah, but yeah, for me, I mean, like, so I. I put together that the chick was driving the events yeah. pretty quickly. Yeah, that, that, I think that, everybody that, that, did. Yeah. Because they telegraphed the shit out of that. By the third time that Ed doesn't show up somewhere, you realize Ed's dead. It's dead. Yeah. Right. Oh, I yep. thought and that so she then it was just a question of and it was finding just her. out. Then it was just a question of finding out which one of the main characters were in uh were in the car with her. And there were only two cho- two possible choices. Yeah. And it well, was but both I didn't of even I didn't even think that okay. I didn't think the cop was a possible choice because I like they they showed that tattoo and then they showed it on the other guy. So that like that just made me think that that was the guy that was in the car. Well, guys, gotcha. I'm sure that this will here's a twist that I'm sure you didn't see coming. You didn't I was kind I was kinda of doing something while I was watching this <laughs> <one. laughs> <No> shit. <laughs> So, like, yeah, that scene where the person got, you know, where Ryan Wilson got shot, or Rain Wilson. Uh-huh. Opposite of Dry Wilson. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, the joke it's... works better now in reverse. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Jeez. All right. So, anyway. um, Maybe but... it'll be funnier later when you listen to the game. See, there's a there's a hidden component that I'll reveal at the end. And then uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, yeah, first off, I don't. I didn't hear him say any dialogue about somebody else being in the car that he didn't expect. And I just saw it like a person hold out like a gun and shoot him in the yeah. back. You know, I just thought that she had the tattoo. Uh, so, oh, so you thought that was I, her arm? I thought it was her arm. Even though it was white and very obviously a man's. It was a- <laughs> and sticking out the passenger side. It was a dark <laughs> night. <laughs> is it dark and stormy <laughs> the night was sultry <laughs> the town is sultry <laughs> so no literally I just thought it was her arm like later on I thought that they revealed that pretty early um, so I I didn't that didn't stick in my head as a possible mystery you know mm-hmm. so like like at the end and stuff like that like when he's like Helping the guy get into the safe and everything. Right. Like I'm like, man, why is this guy helping? And then, yeah. yeah. Um the you talk about like things that you realize that when you get to the end that you're like, oh, like that bit where he's like, Yeah, everybody around this was like, if I ate her food every day, I'd end up like a fat bastard, like all a fat fucking bastard like all the other people in this town. Uh-huh. Man, the guy you're like the girl you're kind of like seeing right now and like becoming close with you know her family is kind of fat Uh like that's kind of rude you know like yeah they do a good job kind of making him like uh i don't know how to put this like you believe he's the type at the end of the movie you believe that he's the type of guy who's arrogant enough to have come up with a plan like this right you know and just a little bit dickish that killing all these people wouldn't be that big of a deal to him yeah and all of them had a hand in pretty much his not only his son's death but the lack of justice that came from it Mm -hmm. yeah but you know that was a hard sell for me like i you know his motivation was not justice because yeah. if it was justice he wouldn't be driving away with the cash at the right end. yeah and you know? that, that yeah that motivation fell flat for me too like he wanted some money yeah, yeah. it fell a little flat for me too it's just yeah justice plus <laughs> <laughs> and also i'm pretty sure that he hated all those other people anyway yeah just yeah. in general yep oh for sure so but yeah like you know when he said that i was like like, I was like, man, why is he saying that when, like, the girl he's kind of into is fat? You know? Ah, but he wasn't And then her. at the end, nope. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, okay. I get it. Mm-hmm. Yep. The only thing that I'll say that, like, okay, so kind of a detriment to this movie is that because it's backwards, 
um like i've been studying not really studying but i've been watching movies about like movie construction in my free time um basically that's work so <laughs> but uh i've been watching some of these movies on movie uh, uh videos on movie construction and shit and uh you know you got your setup and your payoff and a visual medium you kind of want a visual setup and a visual payoff you know without like too much expository dialogue being you know like the thing so like the visual setup of the dude being really pissed off that the guys has that he has to sit in the back seat that's like a good setup Mm -hmm. and it Mm -hmm. pays off backwards like that's really good yeah but because this movie's backwards almost all of the setup has to be done in expository dialogue so like shit like Oh, I saw a naked kid running That's yesterday. That's right. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, oh, and then it's yeah. But we did see a naked kid. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and like you know, like you have to put those mysteries in dialogue instead of showing them. That's right. Yeah, yeah. You have to set up all of the things that you eventually show. You have to set them up with dialogue. Yeah, yeah. When you do it in reverse. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there might be a smarter person who could do it visually, but that's you know. Well, yeah. <sighs> It was k- kind of done visually in Memento because yes. they they weren't afraid to do the one thing which I would never have thought would ever work, which was flashbacks inside of flashbacks. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, you know? and also intercutting. So yeah, yeah. overall, like uh, the but like a lot of the jokes and the writing and everything set up pretty well. The characters are pretty good. Uh, I would say you could probably tell this movie as like a normal mystery movie if you started on like the, you know, a Saturday and had the two FBI agents kind of be your main characters that kind of slowly unravel this instead of like going backwards and showing it. Because basically this is just kind of a mystery, even though it just seems like a drama when you first watch it. Mm -hmm. It's only Mm -hmm. about like halfway through that you realize it's actually a mystery. So, but pretty solid and i have to say that i would actually go as far as to, to recommend it you know yeah. i would solidly mm. recommend this movie yeah i could um, recommend it as well not heartily but <laughs> say watch it give it a watch i think james is right that it uh it wants to be a mystery so bad that it forces this you know backwards gimmick on it and <laughs> i'm not saying it can't be done or it can't be done well i just feel like it wasn't done particularly well and it Mm. only kind of it only worked because in the end you had at least the satisfaction of that twist Mm. um but i I kind of agree that if they had instead instead of it being a mystery had it be more of a drama and played it more straightforward it would have been a little bit better of a movie i don't know maybe maybe not um i but once again i didn't really expect the twist yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with the majority here. Um, as I say, that's that was probably my biggest hang up. The the rolling in reverse thing was just <laughs> it just it, it seemed a little forced. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely was forced, but it seemed like it didn't have a purpose at first until you get near the end. Yeah, and yeah. then that, that yeah, then you uh, understand why it's that way. But yeah, yeah, but. The other thing is, when this movie ends, it's like over. Yeah, like, and this yep. is yep. a quick movie too. Yeah, yeah, it's not a very yes, long movie. It was yeah, like Which maybe an hour and a half, maybe. like eighty That's minutes. That's the one yeah. thing I really liked about it. <laughs> <laughs> Rain Wilson is fun to watch, though. I real. hate Rain Wilson. I, I I don't I don't like anything he does. He, he's I don't think he's a good actor. Uh, he's creepy, and uh, I just hate seeing him and stuff. I like him in roles like this where he's kind of an asshole. Yeah, no. Not not like not the Dwight asshole, but the the kind of self centered asshole. Yeah. Yeah. No. I don't like Rain Wilson. Okay. <laughs> uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're done, that can be enough, Chris. That's uh Chris's pretty... review is just like the movie. When they're done, they're done. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, John. Take us home. <laughs> well, so I think I'm the only one that actually feels a little bit strongly uh, about this. I think that if there's literally anything else that you can be watching, you probably should. Ooh. <laughs> um, because 
I I almost fell asleep three times during this Jeez. film. Um, it bored me to tears, and so um, I was almost going to sit down and compile a list of show movies that you should be watching that are on Netflix rather than this one. <laughs> and just to give you an idea as to where my headspace is. I would probably start that list with Police Academy. <laughs> uh, um, no, but on a little bit more serious note. Um, <laughs> Police Academy is on Netflix. Yes, Police Academy is on Netflix. So here's maybe, a twist maybe, for you guys, okay? If I was going to win, if I was going to win the game, then I would have made it sound like I was going to choose Spawn and then chosen Police Academy. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic, but I, see, personally, I just found this movie to be way too derivative uh, to be interesting. Um, and maybe it was because I caught on to the plot. I mean, this is a really, really short movie. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. this is a really short movie. Um, so if you put, I mean, uh, if you put it together uh, halfway through, or listen to this podcast <laughs> or watching the movie then if you were watching the movie uh-huh. then basically you know you've got it, you can get it put together really really quickly and you'll still have a good portion of the movie to get through um and the while the twist alone doesn't necessarily sell this movie one way or another it's just the whole combined the whole combined essence of this movie is almost good enough. And when every layer is almost good enough, what you end up is something on the South side of mediocre, you know, yeah. it's yeah. like, I can like hear the, you. Constr- the construction of the dialogue is almost good enough. The acting has a mix of almost good is from almost good enough to terrible. Um, the, the story itself is almost good enough. Mm. So all in all, you just end up with this really kind of just, mediocre murder mystery that just really it's and because of the structure of it you can't really get invested in anything or anyone that's true so the structure of the movie makes it so it's hard to uh like really get involved with any of these characters uh, yeah yeah because you see them die before yeah 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 and i mean there's some really weird throwaway stuff in there too because it's like You'll get this, uh, like one of the two cops. Yeah. In one, so each of this, each, this film is divided into days, uh, and each day is a little vignette, and then it starts at the end day, and then it goes backwards over the course of four days until the first day. Mm-hmm. Uh, and in one of the days during the vignette, uh, he has a discussion with his partner about. This girl yeah. that he's seeing. Yeah. Wendy. Yeah. yeah. Wendy. And then it cuts to him eating Wendy. He's like, I'm like, oh, yeah, that's so sad. Sad. I know that, yeah. that's, that was sad. <laughs> but that's the thing is that that happens so early in that character. Like we've been with that character all the way. Like this is the day before the big reveal that we're getting this insight into this guy. Yeah. Because we're watching it backwards. So we don't have that kind of a mess, uh, investment in this guy. We don't know that he's a, a lonely guy who is pretending that his fast food is his girlfriend. <laughs> I know. And it's like when, when, when the other cop's like, yeah, it starts with dinner and then eventually you'll have a bunch of little kids running around. And like the really happy look on the other cop's face like yeah. when he suggests that. Like that when, when it came out that it was fucking Wendy's, that, that actually like was kind of sad for me. <laughs> yes, it was very sad. Yeah. So, I mean, basically, and that's that's basically my take on it, is that uh, this movie is not really good enough to seek out. Um, and if it's popping up on your queue and you're like, oh, I wonder what that's about. I'd even say, just don't worry about it. <laughs> just pick something else and, you know, spend an hour and a half of that. This is the this is the kind of movie that you watch. When you literally need to watch something, but there is absolutely nothing else that even <laughs> remotely looks appealing. There is that never happens anymore. <laughs> but no, it yeah. doesn't. It doesn't. This is the, you know this this is the kind of movie that the only way people would have watched it is if it you know if it was the nineties, uh, people still rented from the video store and you already paid four bucks for it. So fuck it. 
<laughs> you know, or it's the nineties how... and it comes on in the middle of the afternoon on the weekend. Right, right, mm-hmm. yeah, something along those lines. Those are the only ways. To, or, or you're at a ho- you're at somebody's house and it's playing. Yeah, this isn't That's, this, this isn't is... the kind of thing that anybody would ever go to the movie theater to see. That's yeah, for no. sure. Yeah, and and it's not even something that somebody would really seek out. You know, yeah. to watch. And the truth is, if it was written like a normal mystery without the backwards gimmick, I wouldn't have remembered it at all. Like it wouldn't be anything that would ever stick with me. Um, right. But yeah, I'm I'm with you. I'm just on the opposite side. I think it's I think it's a little better than mediocre. Yeah, I I'm I'm there as well. All right. Well, that is uh, that's it. So um, for our reviews. <laughs> So we are going to take a short break and we are going to be back with the game. Uh, Or are we? (laughs) Want to ring the bell? I'm taking it back. I'm taking them all back. I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass and I'm all out of bubble gum. I'm a wall of a rebel. I am the walrus. <laughs> I was just thinking maybe I'll like, you know, trail you John around so I can maybe pick up some of his luck, you know, like a little feeder fish. But then <laughs> yeah. I realized it's like, no, actually, I am a cooler. I kill everyone's luck around me. Yep. <laughs> and Chris can attend to this because when I sit down at a poker table, everyone gets shit hands for the whole night. That's why I win at poker because I get the best out of all the shitty hands. <laughs> I, yeah, you know, it's it's all just probabilities and and stuff. Yeah, like there's, no, there, James is unlucky. No, there's a mysterious force at work, yeah, sir. There, there are no metaphysical forces at work making making like cards be bad when in your presence, or like other luck being bad in your presence, or it certainly does. Seem don't that way don't for me. bolster his self esteem. Yeah, you know I, what? This is not Eric, what we do. You're gonna see. <laughs> you're <James>. gonna see. <laughs> your modern science has no place here, sir. I, yeah. I guess not. Explain not that universe. science. <laughs> Nope. Yeah, you wait. So then there's got to be something like controlling that, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Lady Luck. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. There's even a song about it, dude. Yeah. You can't argue with this song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> All right. Just not just hand. You should know better. There are plenty of songs about how Jesus loves me. <laughs> 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 yes, it's true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, I know. Santa Claus is still coming to town. Right. right. <laughs> but it's coming to make it with your mom. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. That's not in the song. It's a different song, but yeah. <laughs> Santa You're Claus, right. That is, you know, yeah. I saw mommy kissing Santa, Santa, Santa Claus. Claus. That's yeah, what I'm saying. You are saying. <laughs> terrible. Terrible. I'm okay. just, I'm just spitting truth bombs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? It garbled a little bit and it sounded like I'm spitting truth moms. <laughs> <laughs>